Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to install OTT Navigator Live TV player to your Fire Stick, Android TV, Chromecast or any other Android based device. Without any further ado, let's see how you can set it up. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. There is a really high chance you already have it in your device. In that case, skip to the next part of the video. But if you don't have the loader yet, go to search on your device and start typing the loader here. As you can see, it already popped out. No need to type in the whole name of the app. Just click on the loader. And here's the application which you need to install. However, after you download the app, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to settings, scroll down until you see My Fire TV. And here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick and click on the middle button on your remote four seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, and if you go back a bit, you'll finally see the developer options. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it allows the loader to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now, when you go to the list of applications on your device, you'll see the downloader, which appears right here. However, before proceeding further, there's one more thing which I really recommend. It's of course connecting to a VPN. And in my opinion, the best option for that is NordVPN. They have a great app for Fire Sticks or any other device you may use, be it a laptop, mobile phone, your PC or anything else. They have an app for that. They have thousands of different servers and they're not expensive. And most importantly, if you use my link in the description below this video or in a pinned comment, you get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free. Which is a great deal. I believe you always should use a VPN, especially if you're downloading something from the internet, especially via adult applications or any live TV players, because you never really know who the real developers of those apps are, what they're doing with your data, and of course, you even shouldn't trust your ISP provider, because they might be tracking you as well and spying on you. So get NordVPN, use my link in the description of this video, get 4 months totally for free, and let's proceed with the video. And then, after you got the VPN set up and connected, let's open up the loader, make sure to select Home on the left side menu, and then in the search bar we'll have to type Aptoid TV. You can see the search request on the screen, so just make sure to enter it exactly as you see. And while it loads, I'll quickly tell you what's Aptoid TV. So Aptoid TV is an alternative app store for your Fire Stick or Android TV or Chromecast. It has some unique applications which are not available in the official app stores of your device, so it's really useful sometimes. Like this time, for example, when we are looking for OTT Navigator. And when the search results load, you see this link, tv.aptoid.com. That's exactly what we're looking for, make sure to click on it. That's the official website of Optoid TV. Now it opened up, scroll down a bit, until you see the Load Optoid TV button. Click on it, and now the load should start. Yep, here it is. Of course, it doesn't take long. Then you click on Install in the right bottom corner. And then, before actually clicking Open, we have to press on Done. So we'll have an option to delete the installation file, because we don't really need it anymore. Click on Delete. And delete once again. Now we'll have to go to settings once again. Click on the settings, scroll down, go to my Fire TV. Once again, open developer options, install unknown apps, and turn that option on for the Aptoid TV as well, because we'll need it to download the OTT navigator from the Aptoid TV. Now we should be good to go. Let's go to list of applications. And here's Aptoid TV. I recommend pressing on the settings button on your remote and press on move to front. This way it's always going to be somewhere up front. And it's going to be easier for you to find the Aptoid. Then you open the app, click OK here. Then you have to allow access because otherwise you won't be able to download anything. So click on allow and then go to search at the top. Click on that magnifying glass and just type OTT. That should be enough, usually it's enough. And then click on next. 
scroll down, and here is the OTT Navigator at the bottom. Click on it, then press on the Install button. Now it's going to load. Click on Install, and then press on Done. After that, when you go to the list of apps in your device, you should be able to see the OTT Navigator here. Let's take a look. Yep, here it is. As always, I don't know what you're going to stream via OTT Navigator, so just keep in mind that I recommend you using a VPN, NordVPN of course. Once again, you can use my link to get four months of NordVPN totally for free, which is going to be in the description below or in the pinned comment, just to make sure you stay out of trouble when streaming something over OTT Navigator and then safely open the app. And then you see such a menu, you can go to the Add Provider button, and there is a couple of ways to do so. You can use the Playlist feature. This way you just enter your usual M4U code, set it to Active and press Apply. But there are also different ways. If you have a premium paid version of the app, you can scan the QR code on your phone, but this app version is not premium, it's a free version, so this option is not available. You can also use the Extreme code, this way you would enter your URL address, login, password, set it to active and press apply. You can also change the visual style of the app, the app language, time format, background image, uh, the color palette scheme, as well as change text size, shadow size and all that stuff. You may also apply some settings to your lists, for example, hide the adult categories, and this option is usually enabled by default as a security measure. You can change the sort order, for example, by frequency or by order from another provider, by name or by number. You can even make some changes to the player interface, make it show the screen quality, change the time when UI overlay hides, or decide whether to keep the heads-up display when menu is on or not. And for advanced users, there's also extended settings. For example, here you can find the child mode or a parental control, which allows you to set a code which is necessary to open the application. And that's in case if you have some very juicy channels on your app. And pretty much that's it. The app is pretty straightforward. Hope you enjoyed the guide. And just lastly, to mention a very important part, and now lastly, to mention a very important part, you should never forget using a VPN when streaming something via the live TV player. So just to make sure you stay out of trouble, when you're watching my videos, you see a link to get four months for free of a VPN. It's going to be either in the comments or in the description below the video. So you can see this link, let's click on it and let's see what deal is available. So as you can see, NordVPN is running a Christmas campaign right now, which will provide you with four extra months for free if you get a two-year plan. As you can see, there are three options, three different packages. For example, basic, the cheapest one, it costs less than three euros or three bucks a month. It will provide you with a high-speed VPN and up to six devices secured at once. So it means you can use it on your Fire Stick, on your tablet, on your laptop, on your phone, and everything at the same time. Then there is the most popular, a plus subscription. It's a bit more expensive, around 4 bucks a month or a little bit less than 4 euros a month. In addition to a VPN, it provides you a malware protection, so you're going to get warnings about unsafe sites and it will automatically scan all your downloaded files. It will have a tracker and ad blocker, a great cross-platform password manager, so you will no longer have to remember all your passwords, they all are going to be stored in one safe space. And honestly, I use the NordVPN password manager all the time and every day. It's literally a lifesaver. And lastly, there is a real-time data breach alerts, which means NordVPN is going to check if your password or credit card details have ever been leaked, and if it was, you'll get a notification, so you have time to change all your passwords. And lastly, there is the complete package, which is around 5 bucks a month, still cheaper than a cup of Starbucks coffee. It has all the features which we mentioned before, but also adds one terabyte of encrypted cloud storage, which is called Nord Locker. So it's basically a cloud storage like Google Drive. It's really easy to use, just simply drag and drop, and the files are going to be synced across all your devices and backed up automatically. And it's one terabyte of data. And lastly, it also has the safe file sharing option, which means you can create a copy of your encrypted file and share it with a link with anyone. This feature keeps your files safe when you are transferring them to someone. 
In my opinion, for the majority of people, the best option would be plus. You get significantly more features than just the basic plan and only add like $1 a month. And regarding the complete package, I would recommend this package only if you have a lot of files which you would love to store in the cloud and access them from different devices. If you have such a need, of course, choose complete. If not, then just go with plus, enjoy a VPN, a malware protection, ad blocker, the password manager, and the real time data breach alerts. Sounds pretty good to me. So keep this deal in mind, it's four months for free for any of these plans, and see you next time.